Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 21 Ultimate Team pack opening video. As you can see by the title of today's video and by the screen that you are seeing here, we are opening 10 times 81 plus UCL rare player packs. I have actually managed to get 11. It was meant to be 10, but I just did an extra one by accident. But pretty much the title of the video is Are These Packs Actually Worth Completing? Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are looking at them and thinking, Shall I put a load of coins into these packs and potentially get lucky and get like UCL Varane, UCL Messi, certain cards obviously that you you wouldn't buy on the market but that you would happily have in your club and tradable. And you need to obviously submit 11 rare players to do this, uh, exactly gold, player quality obviously it's all rare and 60 chemistry so it's quite easy to complete. Players haven't gone up too much on the market so again. Uh, it ain't too bad, but we will see here out of these 11 packs if I do manage to get lucky. If you are new to my channel though, please make sure to go ahead, drop a like on today's video. If we can hit 30 likes, that'll be much appreciated. The recent support has been incredible on the video, so thank you so, so much for that. In the first one, we are going to get Argentina. It's going to be Tagliafico. So it's an 84 rated card. Again, I'm not going to complain at an 84 rated card. Uh, in the first one. Obviously they are 81 plus packs so you kind of do expect to get quite a lot of boards but we will see of course if we could get at least one usable player like a Valverde or even like a Furlan Mendy just, just someone nice for the team obviously it would be great. We are going to get a board in this one right mid Argentina is that Correa? Yeah it is. 82 rated Correa in the second one so this one doesn't pay out again um, not usable cards or anything like that, but you never know. But if you have opened any of these, make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know who you have managed to pack from them. And do you think they actually were are worth completing or not? In this one it is. Oh, I thought that was going to be Alaba, but it's going to be Lamer, I think. He's a decent pack pull again. 82 rated, 85 pace. He's a very overpowered CDM on this game. I thought maybe uh, it was going to be Alaba, but obviously he has no value anymore. These packs are untradeable anyway, so whoever you get is kind of like one of them things that's going to stay in your club. But we have got a board in every single one so far. Are we going to get a board in this one? We are. Portugal. Right back. Cancelo. Cancelo. See what I mean? Big W. 83 rated. Jao Cancelo. That's the best one so far, of course. It has paid out a little bit, so we will take that. Uh, he's a 5k player, not obviously a lot of value, but definitely a player that could go into another SBC or be good for the club. But we have got a board in 4 out of 4 so far, so can we get a board in the 5th one? These really are quite good to be honest. So the 5th one, it's going to be French. Centre back Varane? Oh, I thought maybe. Oh, Hernandez. Imagine, imagine it was Varane or like, I don't even know who else laying there. There's all sorts of French centre-backs you'll get, but again, it's another board. So it's been a board in every single pack so far. If we can continue that run, I won't be complaining, complaining at all. Are we going to get a board in this one? Yeah, we are. Spanish, left wing. Oh, it's going to be Asensio, I think, yeah. They are all boards, actually, I think. So, 81 rated or 82 rated. It's still... They're still good, obviously. But if they can, if one of them can at least pay out and give me something that's going to be good for the team, then that would obviously be even better. But Brazilian, left-back, Marcelo, maybe. No, uh, Alex Tellez. So, again, a W there. 84 rated. That actually is the best one we've got so far. Um... And he actually sells. He's got a value of at least 11k on the market. He's, he is untradeable, obviously, but it's a player that could be useful for something else in the future. But like I said, let me know in the comment section down below if you have completed any of these. Who is your best pack pull out of all of them that you have opened? I'll be interested to hear. We are going to get Caper here. I thought maybe it could be De Gea. Uh, but I feel like an idiot now because I've because um, obviously when I was saying, oh, it's a board, it's a board, I feel like every single pack is a board anyway, but it is what it is, really. Um, who are we going to get in this one? Yarmolenko, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, Marlos. Never mind. So they haven't really paid out too much. Best pack pull, probably would say Cancelo. Um, nothing else too amazing. We could get something in the final two. We can find out whether it is really worth it. Uh, it's going to be Switz, goalkeeper. 
Not great again. It's going to be Berkey. In for the final part though. So this is the 11th one. It was meant to be 10 for the title of the video. I'm still going to title it 10 parts. But in the 11th one, can it be the best one or not? Spanish, centre mid. Who even is that? Oh, Marcos Lorente. That's actually alright to be fair. But I already have his regular card anyway on tradable. So it doesn't really have much value to me. But yeah, let me know who you have managed to get from these UCL packs. If yours have paid out and been better than mine, definitely make sure to drop a comment and let me know. If you did enjoy today's video though, please make sure to drop it a like. That will be much appreciated. Also hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to... 4.4k subscribers now so if you can subscribe that'd be much appreciated but like i said if you did enjoy it drop a like and that has been that for today's video overall i would say these ucl packs probably not really worth it but if you do have a lot of untradeable rares in your club you may as well go and submit them and open a few of them because there's nothing to lose really and if you can get lucky then obviously you've got cards for the year to kind of sit on that you can use for example valve day certain cards like that there's many players you can get in them packs that could very ha could have very high value for the future so yeah just make sure to let me know what you do think in the comment section below and if you did enjoy drop it a like but that's been that for today's video hope you enjoyed peace out